Hello everybody and welcome to another review. In today's video, I'm taking a look at another item from Fixed Hobby. Those are the glorious people that made the backdrop that you see before you. This is uh, much more kind of Transformers inspired. This is their Fixed Sci-Fi 04. I'm going to take a look at this. I got two boxes of this that I can put together. And we also got these. I'll show you these. I'll go into further detail. Uh, but these are their new stands that they're making as well for action figure stands. So we can incorporate these with these and make some pretty darn decent displays. Let's take a look at what we get in these sets. Let's open this up. Right. We get the instructions for the fixed building set. You can see pretty much what we've got there. Uh, these go together in exactly the same way as what the set that I use for my display and my reviewing did. Albeit uh, with these, we actually get some really nice, clear, translucent pieces. These actually act as light diffusers. If you're taking pictures, you can have a spot lamp, etc., sitting over your display and it looks awesome. Right, I am going to build this. Like I said, the building system itself is exactly the same as the rest of my display. It's pretty straightforward, although it does look a lot more complex in those instructions. It's basically saying you put these ones here, those are going to form the base, and then we can build them up around uh, everything's bagged up in their sections so you can see that this is the w01 section we have these pieces here these are the b01 so like i said it's pretty straight forward Now here we have one of them built up, as you can see, I've got a computer screen up the top there. Various different options uh, for the building of this. I love the use of translucent tips as well. I really do kind of diffuse the light as it comes in. Uh, the real issue I had with this uh, was just uh, the order of these parts at the back. You need to make sure that when you have the corners, at least just this set here at the back you need to make sure that they have four flats in a row as you can see with the normal piece you have uh, two flats then you have a corner angle there and then you have two more down here these need to be one two three four completely flat with no jutting corner sections uh, it's basically so they sit closer to this piece here uh, and you always make sure that you get the corner pieces that are going to be the longest piece. They're going to sit in here first. These flats are always easier to slide in. That was my biggest issue. Uh, but uh, there's so many different options. I mean, I still haven't used all of the parts. What you see here, uh, I still have lots and lots of different brackets so I can uh, secure this further. I get a different uh, alternative piece for the top there that I still haven't put on. Uh, we get some struts as well. These just tab in like we would in any of these sections here. So if you wanted to make some shelving, for example, and you get another set of this, which I do have, uh, we'll build something very similar to this shortly. And I'll include it at the end of the video so you can see just what you can build with these. Uh, but you could also uh, add some shelving sections in, uh, add some pillars, uh, lots of different options here. Uh, just to give you an idea of scale, I've probably done that a smidge too high for Prime. Uh, the uh, Definitely the likes of uh, MM P10 and that would be able to reach that. Uh, we can have the computer consoles lower down. They do do various different options as well. I mean, you can see from here that we've got so some nice variations in that. And imagine we're gonna get a proper Teletron kind of console printed as well. But this is this is nice, I, I like these, these are fun. 
uh, very similar to what I've obviously already got. Uh, I'd like to extend mine. So I think I might be investing in some more and then getting these kind of light diffusers placed over the top as well. I'm going to leave you with this as it is. And I'm going to see if I can add a second set on here, just kind of really expand it and see what we can do. I mean, I've just built that up even bigger. I've got an extra layer higher and I've gone further across. I mean, in all honesty, judging by the size of these characters, it's probably uh, just as well to probably go across. Yeah, so take the top layer out and build it up sideways again. Uh, I've got these extras on the front here, so I can probably use those. The light diffuses lovely through that for different shots. So we've got various different extra pieces that I didn't use. For example, we've got these little pieces here. They would be to come in between these layers and that would help us put these shelves on. And then we would have these pillars, which would help support the shelves. So, uh, they would tab in to these uh, center pieces like so. Uh, then the shelf would sit on there like this. And of course that would then come through the other side. And then each one of these pillars had a top and a bottom. Uh, the bottom being the longer of the two and they can just poke in. So I'd imagine actually that this one's meant to go this way around like so. There. And then for example, we'll take one of these sections here and I'll just use this translucent one to have its hand. That would sit like so. Obviously it would be supported from this side. And then again, using the flat side, we would bring these pillars up and we can bring those all the way up and they would act as support beams as well. So obviously the bigger we make it, the more likely it's gonna need support to keep everything uh, solid and to stop it flexing. And like I said, I was going to uh, take a look at these bases as well. Once again, uh, with the display bases, we're using these frosted sections. You don't actually need to use those. Uh, you can go directly from the base. Uh, all of the bases are the same. It's just the whole locations that differ. So to build, uh, it's basically what you would expect from these support stands. One side is bigger and the other, lots and lots of range in here as well. There we go, and I can put this end on here, like so. This can grip our character, and we've now got ratcheted joints here, here, here. So we can get a really good uh, section for these. These can all obviously join together. You've got these bricks that can join each one of these together on the underside. So we can build up multiple bases of these. And also you can go directly into here. Or if you choose to, there is one with a circle peg in. So if you want to uh, kind of grip it in four places, I guess, you could build it up like so. But these are very versatile. They fit in any of these holes. Uh, so we can have our figures rotated around. And if you, like me, have a one-legged bumblebee, <laughs> uh, you can get them in some nice little poses. Uh, obviously, you can reduce the length of these. You don't have to plug in all of the extras. Uh, if you want a shorter and more sturdy approach, then yes, I would definitely advise kind of just removing one of those sections. But there's lots of different options. Again, these are a nice little play piece. And it's nice that everything interacts with what we get here. And if you're not using this as part of the base, then we get extra diffusing plates as well, which is absolutely awesome and very welcome indeed, right? I would include a link in the description below, which takes you through to Fex Hobby, where these can be ordered. Uh, there's a lot of different variations. Uh, I could probably just go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, but you've got to remember the bigger you go, uh, the more likely you are to need to get some of the support pieces that we saw earlier on. As you noticed, I haven't actually placed these uh, spacer pieces on my second layer. I didn't quite have enough to go all the way around. So all I did is I placed uh, one of these behind each section. So there's lots of different variations, lots of different things that we could do with it. And uh, overall, I think it's an exceptional 
piece. Uh, you have to just watch out, watch what you're doing, make sure you place those correct pieces in the corners, the ones with the uh, flat sections as opposed to the ridges, and you're going to be well away. Hope you found the video useful. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share and subscribe. Sorry it's gone on for so long and I've rabbited on, but it's a massive great big set and I just wanted to do it justice. Until next time for myself and Fex Tobby, a uh, goodbye.